Hey guys, it's Descent here. Welcome back to my channel where I post infected videos, class setup videos, search and destroy videos, and more recently, Apex. If any of that interests you, then please subscribe. That really means the world to me. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to be going over the best VLK Rogue class setup. So the VLK Rogue, the shotgun, it, uh, it kind of sucks, to be honest. It's trying to be in between a really close range shotgun and a long range shotgun, which you think would be really good, but no, this gun is terrible. I mean, it's always a two shot, pretty much, unless you're literally right, if you're literally tickling them, all right? Yeah, it's really hard to get kills with this this gun it's really hard to just get it leveled up but once you get it leveled up it becomes decent so for the muzzle we're gonna put on the choke just to increase the damage range and pellet spread like tighten it a little bit for the barrel we're gonna put on this 16 inch warlord right now we're just kind of trying to increase the range on this thing because it's absolutely terrible and you cannot kill anyone that's further than three feet next thing we got is the five millimeter laser this just helps with the hip fire accuracy which you're gonna you guys are gonna be hip firing a lot with this gun i recommend not aiming in it at all to be honest especially on maps like shipment i really think this laser will be helpful because you won't have to aim in and your reaction time won't have to be as good because of that so honestly guys i recommend not aiming it at all with this gun i think you're probably more accurate when you hip fire with this laser on so definitely try that out for the rear grip we're gonna put on these stippled grip tape just to get that aim down sight speed faster and the sprint to fire speed up a bit really helpful attachment for pretty much every gun the thing we got is this xrk race grip now this one just brings up pretty much all the important categories and only brings down the mobility a little bit so i mean this is the class setup right here it just really brings up the range a lot of emphasis on that and then tightening the pellet spread a little bit so we can go a little bit further so now you can go to like five to seven feet and getting headshots and you'll probably kill them in one shot but yeah this gun is just this gun's just terrible to be honest but this is about as good as it's gonna get it's like if you combine the origin shotgun with the model 680 but it's leaning to more towards the origin side so it's just like absolutely terrible the origin at least you can shoot it really fast up close this one it just tries to be both like it tries to be an origin but it's not good enough but it also tries to be long range and it's just not long range at all. I don't know, man. This shotgun just sucks. So for the secondary, I recommend having on the Deagle just because you're already in that I need to hit my shots kind of mindset. And then you can just switch to this and hit even more shots if your shotgun runs out of ammo. Perks 1, I'd recommend having EOD, but if you're playing on the bigger maps, double time isn't a terrible idea just because of how big the maps are. You're able to get around a lot quicker, but EOD is really good because I know a lot of people watching this are probably going to be playing Shipment and Shoot House. What a lot of people use C4. I mean, everyone uses C4 in this game now. It's kind of ridiculous. So have on EOD just to take that reduced explosive damage for perk 2 everyone has ghost on always have ghost on it's just have ghost on for perk 3 i recommend having battle harden it's basically like eod but it's for the tactical grenades so stuns flash grenades they all don't do much to you and yeah it's a pretty decent perk i'm tracker is also decent especially for shotguns tracker for shotguns could work really well for you so if you want to try that out that's a really good idea it's definitely something that's on the table for sure for the lethal have on c4 i mean what else to be honest i mean semtexes are decent if you want to change it up and I mean, it goes a little bit further as well so if you want to get a further throw and you really want to cut off a certain area of the map i think a semtex could work really well but c4 it just gets you out of so many situations that i don't know if it's worth replacing and then for tactical i've been always using the smoke grenade nowadays because i cannot get around the map to save my life and smoke grenades really help with that so have on smoke grenades if you want to get around the map faster but stun grenades and flashes are also decent as well so guys that is the class setup right there I really hope this helps you out honestly this shotgun is just absolutely terrible so it's it's just not that good but this is probably the best you're gonna do with it i really hope this helps you guys out and yeah that is the gun all right guys thank you so much for watching that video if you guys enjoyed it and you want more class setup videos in the future be sure to subscribe because i'm gonna be making one for every single gun in the game as well as if you like infected videos ninja diffusing videos funny moments videos those kind of like for fun party game modes if you guys want to play even better and you want to improve your aim even more then i'd recommend having control freaks i'm gonna link them down below if you're interested you basically just have more control over your joystick because it's a little it makes it a little bit longer and then you're able control where you aim a lot better. Anyways guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did and I will see you all later.